Coming up, I'm going to show you what they're putting in the Austin water supply. I have the order request. The actual chemicals being dumped in there by the government. Hydrofluorosilic acid, H2SIF6, and other goodies. That is coming up. All right, this is a short clip, but Ron Paul is now going out on TV saying, this gives the bankers more power than Congress has over the country. And that's what the, quote, overhaul of the private bank says. The Federal Reserve is their private consortium or their holding company. So they're saying give the private banks that did all this more power to stop it from happening in the future, which they promised back in October, give us more power and we'll fix it. And I told you they've already been given unlimited financial power. Now they want power over other corporations and companies to seize any company, take over anything they want. And it's the same thing across the board, shutting down farms and ranches, NAIS, premises ID. I mean, this is a corporate takeover of every level of society. And then there's some big Iran news I haven't gotten to. That's clearly a CIA operation. First few days, I said, we'll wait and see. The mullahs do have some corrupt problems. They may have stolen the election. Definitely CIA op now. They've been caught doing that. In fact, I meant to get to it yesterday, but now even more evidence has come out. Can you guys, uh, during the break, I'll find the photos for you, where they would crop photos of people protesting for Ahmed Dinajid, and they would say it was people against him. And BBC got caught doing that. They've had to admit they've staged it. But that's not it. They're always on TV with the signs in English, and people have been picking them out as CIA people from the U.S. Just like when they tore Saddam's statue down, and they showed close shots of five or six guys like it was a crowd. It turns out it was just a few dozen people, and it was all CIA ops. We're not saying the mullahs are good or Saddam's good. The issue is it's staged. Just just know they're lying to you on the news and uh, trying to overthrow Iran. Just Our government already did that in 53 to these poor people. No wonder they hate us so much. Stay out of their business. People are like, no, I'll kill them. I like being an empire. The same empire is raping you, too. You're not part of the empire. You pay for it. You're the slave that pays for it. You're a slave working in a factory for the New World Order. Stop thinking like you're part of it. Oh, these yuppies just can't figure it out. These good old boys just can't figure it out. Let's play Ron Paul. Here he is. Is your perspective that uh, Tim Geithner needs to dramatically uh, change his approach at this point? We've seen Paul Krugman and other economists say the worst thing that could happen right now is for the government to ease up on the stimulus and other things, that it could lead to another crash. What are your thoughts? Well, it would be good to stimulate the economy, but you don't stimulate it by doing the same things we've done for 20 years. And uh, the, the policies that gave us our trouble it can hardly be the solution. So spending more money and borrowing more money and inflating the currency uh, it will not solve the problem. They're, they're making the assumption that it was a lack of regulations that caused our trouble. And yet we had banking regulators and we had SEC regulators and FDIC regulators. We had a ton of regulations and they failed. So they say, well, we just need more. It's sort of like what the outcome of, uh, of Enron was. We, we passed Sarbanes-Oxley. Now they're trying to repeal Sarbanes-Oxley because it contributed to the problems of the early part of this decade. So I would say they're on the wrong course. And uh, to me, it's very, very disturbing that they have no confidence in the free market and they have no interest whatsoever at looking at the root cause. And the root cause is easy credit, artificially low interest rates, inflating the currency, excessive spending, excessive debt, too much taxes, and they're going in the wrong direction. And believe me, uh, there's reason for the polls to start to be shifting away from the administration because they're digging a bigger hole for us. Um, but, but Congressman Paul, it, the first thing you the first thing you said in that line was easy credit. And are you not at all concerned with the role, for example, that some of the credit rating agencies played in that, which in part allowed people to a, get more access to credit. I don't just mean individuals, but I mean large corporations. Um, are you not at all concerned that some of the regulations weren't well enforced? Well, uh, it, what you're trying to say is the regulations could compensate for the easy credit. It wasn't the regulators who created the credit. It was the Federal Reserve that pumps up the money supply and artificially lowers the interest rates. And then the regulators are supposed to come in and adjust. You might say the housing bubble should have been stopped by the regulators. But Congress and the regulators actually force 
some of these uh, subpar loans. They, they had to give loans with no down payments, and that was, that was involved with the regulators. So the regulators failed because the system of regulations can't possibly compensate for the errors that are made by the Federal Reserve in creating a monetary system that is just not stable at all. Congressman Paul, I want to bring in my colleague Chuck Todd, who's the, uh, who's the political director for NBC. All right, ladies and gentlemen, poll we'll be right back after this quick break. Stay with us. Finish up this quick Ron Paul clip. I get to the key point where he explains that it's the Federal Reserve that put out all this fiat currency and credit, and that they are going to get more power than Congress through uh, this new quote overhaul of regulation, giving the banks unlimited power when they've engineered this crisis. That that's supposedly their answer. Give the people that did this more power, thinking the public and Congress are stupid, not knowing the Federal Reserve is a private holding company for the big uh, central banks. Here it is. Regulation right now, you say you want to get rid of some of this stuff, but obviously there needed, there was some missing regulation. Maybe the SEC didn't have enough uh, correct people there. So, you know, what, where do you, where do you regulate? Well, it, 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 what your statement says is it proves regulation didn't work or that it was misdirected. The regulation should be on the Federal Reserve. We should have transparency of the Federal Reserve. They can create trillions of dollars to bail out their friends, and we don't even have any transparency of this. They're more powerful than the Congress. So yeah, but isn't we do, this we do improving? need regulation. Pardon but me? isn't the Treasury, isn't the Treasury Secretary, I mean, one thing about this new plan for okay, the administration enough. is that they actually do want to try... You can read our key stories. We've been screaming this for the last three days since they made this legislation public. And now we have the headline, Ron Paul slams Federal Reserve's new dictatorial powers. They can already steal all the money they want and have no one audit them unless we change the law. Now they're going to be able to seize any company or corporation. I mean, this is Hitlerian is the only way uh, to properly uh, describe the full the full magnitude of this. So we're going to continue to call, uh, cover that. I'm going to get under Paul Craig Roberts on to talk about this and his investigation of what's really happening in Iran and North Korea coming up this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m., with the Sunday syndicated uh, transmission.